So just a couple of days ago, Warner Brothers came out to pretty much, you know, try to promote um, Black History Month. And as you see here, that did not end well for them. It is insane how this studio is still, you know, just getting away with a lot of stuff. Uh, this is the reason why a lot of us DC fans are very excited that, you know, we, we are expecting a lot of where, you know, we're expecting something new, something different. We are expecting, with this new merger coming in from um, Discovery, we are expecting for them to clean house. Um, I hope David is coming in to, you know, fix all, all the, the mess that we have been dealing with for the past years now. You know, literally, Warner Brothers has been losing billions of dollars since I will say maybe since 2017, 2000, 2018, um, they just kind of keep losing money because they're just losing fans. You know, they the, the movies that they used to make back in the day, like the Dark Knight trilogy, Man of Steel, you know, Lord of the Rings, um, you know, movies that used to be cinema, movies that used to be quality. They just stopped doing that for a while now. They just, uh, we don't really know what happened to Warner Brothers. You know, it, it hurts because Warner Brothers was one of my favorite studios. They used to just make all my favorite um, franchises. And they just, I don't know where, we don't really, you know, don't really know why, what, what happened with these um, executives, you know, producers, and, and now the new president, which apparently um, she's about to be gone um, and sent off. She's about to be gone. I believe Jason's about to be gone. That's what they're saying so far. But in my opinion, if Toby is still in, I'm sorry, but nothing is gonna change. He needs to go too. He's one of the main problems. Uh, they need to get rid of Jeff Johns, you know, when it comes to the DCU because he, it's not for him. You know, he, he might be a good comic book writer or, or whatever, but movies is not for him period he needs to stay away from that um so yeah i'm just here to pretty much show you guys how how bad this ended up for them it's like they don't really think they just do stuff without thinking oh it's either that or they don't even hide to, you know they don't even hide of how racist they are they don't they don't even they're not even trying to hide the you know all the wrongs that they did with Ray Fisher and, and Zack Snyder. Um, as you see here, you know, on the main, on the main page, when they were, you know, celebrating, trying to celebrate Black History Month, but it just didn't go well for them. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't went well, well for them because how you, you know, showing off DC fam, um, DC characters, but you have, you don't have cyborg you know on on the main list when when he's literally one of the main um you know heroes from justice league he, it's like they almost have villains on this you know i know black Panther is not really a villain like that but you know that's just a villain you know uh, blood sports a villain uh to me that's it's still a little racist if you think about it because it's like you you so you're trying to promote black history month without Ray Fisher cyborg, which he's a hero, but you also, you know, you're trying to promote this with villains from DC that, you know, that's played by black actors. Uh, this, this is just crazy. You know, I had to, you know, I took a, pretty much recorded this to show you guys how bad he ended up, you know, for them, as you see here. Um, it's, it's good to know that my pose for Wayne T. Carr, you know, got a lot of, a lot of love, you know, got a lot of shares, got a lot of likes. Uh, well, pretty much if you didn't know, Wayne T. Carter was cast to play Jon Stewart for Zack Snyder's Justice League. And just barely a year ago, you know, when the movie was, you know, ready to go, um, Warner Brothers still made Zack Snyder cut this actor of color. It's, it's, it's insane that they still after all the stuff that Zack Snyder went through, after we already know that Ray Fisher came out saying how there was a lot of racism and abuse behind the scenes with Justice League back in 2017, they still made Zack Snyder the lead on other actor of color just a year ago. 
from his movie. It's just insane. It's like this studio's not even trying to hide anything anymore. Um, you know, at the same time, it's like they're still trying to hide the movie when it comes to Zack Snyder's Justice League, because I, as you may know, bef you know, by now, uh, the trailer for the home release is still unlisted. It's still not released, you know, like that. You can find it on the on their channel, but it's, it's unlisted. So it's like they're still trying, they just want to bury this movie. Uh, and as you see here, you, we, we already know this movie is huge. It made a lot of money, it made huge numbers, and they're still hiding, you know, they're still trying to hide all that. But yeah, this is why, you know, I just, I'm just making this video to show you guys how Discovery really needs to clean house. I'm sorry, when they, they're coming in for this, they, they need to get rid of <laughs> a lot of people. They need to get rid of all, of Toby, um, you know, and Sanoff needs to go, Jeff Johns needs to go. Uh, if, if they're gonna get rid of Jason, he needs to go too, because I mean, indeed. There was a moment that he was kind of supporting the Snyderverse and, and Seth Snyder just to sleep, but then I don't know where he just got quiet, you know. And, and again, who knows if that was on him or the studio just told him to stop. Uh, again, this, this, this studio just has a lot of hate for, for Snyder. And, and one of the reasons is that, you know, that is is because Seth Snyder spoke up you know he, he didn't stay quiet during um everything because all this started back in i, I believe we with batman v superman there was a lot, already a lot of beef between him and, and warner brothers because they, they were not really letting him do the movie that he really wanted to do uh and then the whole justice league thing happened you know and he just had enough with, with, with the studio so of course he should not stay quiet. Uh, if you you know, if you're a director, you want to make the movie that you want to make. The studio should not be there trying to make something else. If that's the case, then don't hire the director. You know, don't don't hire a director to to make a movie and then trying to switch his whole movie in the last minute. You just don't do that. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about all this um, drama. Uh, just, let's just hope that, you know, Discovery is coming in just to clean house. That's that's just the hope that we have now, the faith. So, yeah, just let me know in the comments what you think about all this. Thank you, everyone, and have a good one.